Okay, so today we're going to work on making some circles outside. Uh, it's hard to get circles big enough to actually measure this to, to get an accurate measurement, so we're going to go outside and make our own circles. So first thing you want to do there, notice we uh, put an X on the ground, so that's the first thing you want to do, that way you can have a very good center of your circle. <laughs> and by the way, make sure <laughs> if you're the person in the middle, you're not wearing that's high fine. heels. Should we start over? No, that's yeah, fine. Just keep going. Okay, so it's what you're going to do is you're going to stretch out the string, um, and you're going to draw your circle around like that, using it as like a large compass. And then you're going to take your tape measure like they're doing here. And you're going to, this is where you need, need your group to help you out to be able to stretch this tape around the outside of the circle. Alright, so this is like what we've been talking about. This is measuring the circumference of the circle. So if you'll see here, we're going to stretch this out. And on these standard tape measures that we're using, I think they end at like 152 centimeters. So let's measure in centimeters today when you're doing this. It'll get us a little bit more accurate measurement. So notice there, we marked that at 152, so we knew kind of where we're starting at there. So that chalk line is at 152 centimeters, and we're going to start measuring again there because it's not long enough to go all the way around. So we know it's 152, plus we're going to go around here and we're going to get a whole other tape uh, measure in there before we get back to the starting point. So we're marking this back at 152, so we're keeping that, so we've... We've already measured around the circle and gotten two 152 centimeters, so we're just going to see how much is left. And you can see it's going to be about 20, about 21 centimeters. Up. So we've already had 152, had another 152, and then we have that extra 21. So we're just going to add all that up to figure out how big our circle is. And it was about 325 centimeters. Of course, that's rounding. It's not going to be perfect, but, but try to get it as close as you can to, to the actual measurement. So 325 centimeters all the way around that. Now so what we're going to do is we're going to measure the diameter of this circle. So obviously when you're measuring the diameter, you want to start at one edge. Make sure you go right through the middle of the circle there. And we're going to measure all the way to the other side. And it's right at 101.5. So the diameter of that circle was 101.5 centimeters. So we measured around the outside was 325. Across it through the middle is 101.5. So we're going to take the length on the outside, 325, divide it by the across the middle of it, 101.5. You're going to write these dimensions on your paper, and that's what we want. Happy Pi Day.